The S5 truss now within 12 inches of S4. Our message break. Tracy, over to you. Thanks, Gorge. Hey, guys, before you get... That sets the stage uh, for the removal of the, the series of four launch locks that will uh, enable uh, S5 then to be moved uh, into a uh, fine alignment position uh, for its capture to the S4. And do not apply a push or pull force or side load while driving the primary bolt. Copy. Trace. Copy. You. A good view of uh, Rick Mastracchio as he also uh, prepares to join Dave Williams uh, for the removal of launch locks. They're on opposite sides of the uh, S5 truss segment. At the very top of your screen is the uh, end effector of Canadarm2 that is uh, firmly grappled uh, to one of the two grapple fixtures on S5. On the PGT, good type test. on the socket? Uh, yeah, I'll keep you in the loop. Just um, getting it right now. Anyway. Hey, TC, the socket is installed on the PGT, or on the red, I should say. Good tug test. I'm just going to uh, put the socket caddy back on my mini workstation. Copy, Dave. Thanks. Now, Mastracchio in his uh, portable foot restraint. Again, uh, the uh, two spacewalkers will be using pistol grip tools uh, simultaneously uh, to remove launch locks uh, from either uh, of two corners. There are four corners uh, where all of the launch locks must be removed, four of them, uh, in order to uh, provide the uh, capability uh, for S5 uh, to be placed in a position where it can be captured uh, to S4 and then bolted into place. Counterclockwise. Two. DC, I'm turning. Copy, Dave. Copy, Bravo, one. This view from Dave Williams' helmet camera as he uh, begins uh, the use of a pistol grip tool, 54 turns. Uh, to remove launch lock number two from its uh, position on the S5 truss. Again, uh, this view of Rick Mastracchio uh, wearing the suit, bearing the red stripes, Dave Williams uh, in the far right uh, corner of your picture as they work on opposite sides of the S5 truss, removing a set of uh, four launch locks, which will set the stage uh, for pilot Charlie Hobaugh to continue moving the uh, Canada arm to the robotic arm that you see at the very top of your picture, grappled onto the S5 truss for its attachment to S4. No more than 36, but uh, back it out until you see at least two. Okay. I got the launch lock off, Trace. And the bolt head is reset, or the bolt is reset. Let me just uh, check. There's two shreds at the shoulder, TC. Bolt head is fully reset. How many more turns was it? And that was uh, three turns. Three turns extra? Yes. So about 30 turns total. That's correct. Good job, Dave. Hey, Rick, how many turns did you have? It was uh, 48 turns at the PGT. Stand by and I'll check how many threads I've got showing. Did you say 48 at the PGT? Yes. So that's 24. 24 yeah. And the bolt is definitely recessed. Let me just check how many threads you got. And PC the launch lock is in my trash bag. Copy. And just wondering if I can get a go to head over to corner four. Right after you configure your rad for translation. And the rad is configured for translation. And you gotta go. Thanks very much. Okay. Once uh S5 is soft captured on a series of soft capture pins onto the S4 truss. Okay. Where we're at. 
Then uh, the two spacewalkers will begin to uh, torque down a series of four bolts to permanently mate the two segments. Okay, let's give it a shot. So, um, Dave, you're in position? Yeah, I'm in position, corner two. I am also. My safety tether is clear, TC. My hands are clear. Same here. Scorch your go. Keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Here we go. Copy. Good motion. Sure. Corner two, course alignment cone is entering the plane. Plane the corner, three. Uh, looks like we're gonna need a little bit of right, maybe. Just starting the rub. Corner two is going up. Corner three is going up. Yeah. Keep it coming a little keep more. Coming. Keep it coming. Two is up. Four is going up. Three keep one coming. Up. George, it looks Incredible. perfect. Three down. Three is down. <clears throat> Four is uh, yet to go. One is up. One is still up also. Okay, so we got two and three, and uh, one and four need to come down. Looks like two and three, right? Two and three. Okay. Precision flying of the uh, S-5 truss, uh, courtesy of the Canadarm2 by pilot Charlie Hobaugh, with the assistance of flight engineer Clay Anderson of the Destiny Laboratory. The board's up as well. Hey, nice view in your visor. Hey, the uh, arm is limp. I'm going to give it about 30 seconds. Okay. Hobaugh allowing uh, relative motion of the uh, Canadarm2 to dampen out a bit before he proceeds on uh, for the soft capture of the other two corners of the S-5 truss to the S-4. Gonna head over corner four. Corner four is down. Affirmative. We understand all corners are down. I agree. You're correct. Right, give us a second. Okay. S5 soft captured to the S4 truss segment. NTC, I'm just heading back. Corner two. Copy, Dave. We have you getting in the. APFR and then waiting for Rick to finish bolt one. This view from Dave Williams' helmet camera as uh, he and Rick Mastracchio now are in the final stages of uh, torquing down uh, the four bolts permanently mating the S5 truss uh, to the starboard four truss segment and the uh, removal of the soft capture pins that were used to align uh, the mating of the uh, two truss components uh, at the beginning of today's spacewalk, which is now one hour, 52 minutes in duration. The display on the PPG with the sunlight and I got a little bit of fogging going on, so it is cooling down. Okay, take your time, we're ahead. Uh... And if you're ready, I'll give you the PGT settings for the uh, grounding strap install. Uh, stand by one. I just have to do a couple turns manually. Okay, take your time. Okay. If you guys want to check your uh, helmet lights off, uh, you can do that. Okay, stand by. I'm just going to leave mine on. There you are, Rick. Rick, stand right Rick. above you. I see it. Okay. There you go. Okay, thanks. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to proceed to uh, read that adjustable 